a practical prank and revenge served sweet and cold. The story of Hare, Haina, and the Crow. There was this time that Hare approached Haina. On his shoulder was slung a bag into which he would dip his finger, then with great delight would lick it, showing how sweet whatever he was licking was. When Hare got close to Haina, he told him, Hey, old fella, you look so angry. It looks like you can do with something sweet. Oh yeah, my friend here, you're right. I'm so famished that I feel that I could eat a giraffe. Oh, here old fellow, here you go. Take some little bit of the sweetness that never ends. And with his hair, let Haina lick his finger. Mm. Oh, oh, indeed, this is so sweet. What is this? What do you call it? The sweetness that will never end, Hare said. Oh, indeed, it's very, very sweet. Some more, please. More, please. No, 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 no. Hold it, old fella. Hold it. Now, I want you to do this. Look up in the skies. What do you see? Looking up, well, I don't see anything of any particular interest to me. Come on, old fella, can we do away with rudeness? Look again, what do you see? Well, I can see some white fluffy clouds. Yes, it's what I see. You're right, that's it. The white fluffy clouds that you see up there are white pieces of fat, succulent meat. Exactly what you need, old fella. Oh, oh, sure. But I don't see how I can get to it that. Not to worry. Get you up there and you can eat to your fill. But there is only one condition. Okay, okay, old condition. Um, I'll be okay with that. Then, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. I will sew your bottom so that when we get there and you get the sweetness that never ends, it will never escape. Oh, that doesn't sound proper. And uh, may I just ask you one thing, Miss Here? Is your bottom sewn? Can I see? Stop asking me stupid questions. Old fella, I have told you the terms and conditions for me taking you up there. Are you interested or not? And with this, he has started walking away. Oh, 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 Miss Hare, don't, don't, don't walk away. Come, 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 come. I think I agree to your terms and conditions. Here, go right ahead. And with this, Haina turned, allowing here to take a piece of string and a needle and uh, could be seen busily sewing up hyenas behind. Hyena could be heard crying out <laughs> in pain, even though he sounded to be laughing. When that was done, hyena followed hair as they made their way to a part of the forest where hair had previously collected honey. And there were lots and lots of honeycombs. And when he was invited to eat, he ate and ate and ate till he could eat no more. But he would not stop. He continued eating and therefore ate and ate. The end result of it all is that he felt terribly thirsty. And with his stomach sagging, in the weight of what he had swallowed, he made his way to the stream and again took in copious amounts of water. He drank and drank and drank. And when he tried to make his way back home, he collapsed right there on the banks of the river where he remained for a number of days. 
and he could be heard wailing in pain because the wound was festering and he was in great pain and could not move. And when animals came to him and observed him, he would plead to them, oh, please, please come, help me, help me. How can I help you? Animals would ask, go to my bag and please remove that piece of string you can see hanging out. No, 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 I know you, you are up to your old tricks. I know you want me for a meal. No, I'm not gonna touch you. Many animals told Hyena. And this went on for a number of days until Crow, the good sentinel who loved being around people, appeared and looked at her. Hey, here, what is it? You look as saving pains, lots of pain. Oh, yeah, it is true, Miss Crow. It is here, it is here. He saw my bottom. Uh, uh, why? Why would do such a crazy thing sound so crazy? Because of the sweetness that never ends. He didn't want it to escape. Sweetness that never what? It sounds even crazier. Anyway, how can I help you? Oh, this is what I want you to go. Go behind me and there you will see a string that is sticking out. Please pull it out and I should be okay. I should be okay, Miss Crow. And Crow did as Hyena had bid him do. So went behind and pulled the string. No sooner had she done that than out of Hyena's bowels gushed a lot of waste that buried Crow in a big mold that everybody could see. And as soon as that was done, Hyena felt such a great relief. <sighs> he could be heard expressing his great delight at the relief that he felt. And looking behind him, he looked with astonishment at the amount of waste that had come from his bowel. And then walked away happily without giving a care about poor Crow. And Crow remained in that state, buried in that waste for a number of days. And nobody could see her, nobody could help her. Until one night when rain fell down in torrents and exhumed Crow from all that waste that had buried her. As soon as she was out, she swore that she would take revenge on Hyena and therefore went out looking for him. This particular day, it was around midday and she knew that Hyena would be hungry and would be out in the plain waiting on, scavenging on other animals that were hunting quarry. So she went and it did not take her long because she could she spotted Hyena where he was and she approached him. Hi, Hyena. Oh, you look so hungry. Your stomach has really caved in. Oh, yeah, crow. Oh, you can't imagine. I'm so hungry. And these meat eaters, they're such sluggards. None of them has caught prey up to this time. So I'm just here waiting for them, waiting for something to eat. And I'm so hungry. Ah, I can bring that to an end, dear Hyena. Now, I want you to look up. Look up in the sky. What do you see? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but you can see white fluffy clouds there. Crow could tell that Haina was trying to remember something, but was finding it hard to remember. And she came in quickly. Now, what I want you to do is this. I will want you to go and look for every member of your tribe and you bring them here. Then I will fly the whole lot of you up in the sky where there is white, fat, succulent meat and you people can eat to your satisfaction and then we come back to Earth. Oh, I don't know, that has never been done before. There is always a first time. Come on, come on, stop wasting time, old fella. Make haste, go and bring every member of your tribe. And with that, Hyena scurried away happily and went and sought after every member of her tribe. 
and it was not difficult because it was in the afternoon by now and the sun was catching scorching hot so most of the hyenas were under the shade and this particular hyena went to every nook and cranny and got every member of the clan and there they were assembled in the point where crow had said that they met and everybody could hear the noises that they made those in agreement those in disapproval but it was agreed that yes they would take the flight so crow hello everybody hello good people listen to me this is what we're gonna do the lead hyena here is going to hold on my tail then each one of you will hold onto the tail of the other and together we shall get airborne and we'll get up in the sky where there is white fluffy meat and then you can eat all of you to your satisfaction and then come back is that agreed yes yes they all said in agreement and therefore it was done and before long people could see a string of hyenas rising into the sky crow told them i will want you to tell me when the last of you has left the earth and they flew higher and higher by this time the hyenas all started singing in unison oh our sister crow fly higher and higher higher than any crow has ever flown till you get us to the white fat succulent meat up there oh sister crow fly higher and higher and then crow asked the hyenas have we left the ground yes sister crow we have left the ground and a short while later crow asked the lead hyena no 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 it's getting a little bit hot here what i want you is to scratch me on both my wings with your hands please do that and the minute that hyena left hold of her tail crow flew away and then with that all the hyenas came tumbling down in a vertical angle and each of them then hitting the ground and heaping on each other and all of them would die the minute they touched the ground other than the last hyena who broke his feet both his hind feet and that is why hyenas limp up to this moment